Now we start this week where we left off last. I cut the drywall out and we have an open hole. So now we can explore. Well, now we got a better look in here and we can see the fun little wiring project I have ahead of me. So there's an outlet and an extension cord and like I suspected, there are two plugs in the extension cord that go to the two boxes with just the exposed wire on the eave. So what I wanna do is pull out that of course, unplug it, and then wire probably directly to the outlet. So we actually have outlet to outlet. So then I can put an outdoor receptacle like hidden in the eave right there. Probably just one. That way we can plug in the security cam as well as any things like Christmas lights or whenever we need it. Well, I did a little bit of exploring up here as well as some Sweeping at least as much as I can. There is a lot of crap in here a lot of dust a few small things that were left behind Nothing of value. I can see a lamp radio thing some makeup boxes and I don't know whatever this is. Oh, it's an old shower mat and Some random stuff. This will go in the dumpster, but taking a little bit more look here We can see that the outlets or the Romex that was going to the eaves we're plugged in both to this extension cord and plugged one of them. And so what I want to do now, and we have the power off, is I want to take this out, get rid of this extension cord. We don't need it in here. And I want to tie it into this directly and then just feed the wire back up. Probably just one because I don't need two pieces of wire going out to the eaves, but just one probably follow this same route right here, use this one, so that we can make a proper outdoor outlet, a proper waterproof one. But we can at least get everything prepped in here, so that way I'm not in this sweltering heat, because I've only been in here for a few minutes, and I'm already sweating, it's very warm in here. But we'll get all that sorted out and get this all situated, so that way we can start working on the outlet from the outside. In quite the day, we are exhausted and stinky and dusty and everything, but a few things that we were going to do today. We started the day trying to get this countertop up into the master bathroom, but this is posing a different challenge that the cabinet wasn't, and that is that this is super heavy. Not only is it heavy, but it's long and wide, and again, fitting around that corner is going to be a pain. So I put out a few bids to handymen, uh, granite installers to see if they can do it because just between the two of us, I don't think we have the combined strength or sheer will to get this around that corner. Besides that, everything has been outside stuff. I got in there and fixed all the wiring. So now we have this nice incognito outdoor outlet and even better, we have that attached to a security camera. So we got a couple of these things. They're pretty cheap and putting them all around. So we have this one pointed out to the intersection here. So that way if there's any accidents or anything crazy like that, we'll get some nice footage. <laughs> quick, quick. What have you been up to? Trying to fix the valves from last weekend that leaked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They look nice. It was leaking around the coupling that screws in right here, so I had to cut it out to tighten this up. And I'm using the, the two wrenches to really like tighten it down now. And so this one is kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see if this one works. I'm just trying to get them all on and then we'll do some testing <laughs> and yeah. see if water comes out. There's weird water coming out over here the other day. I'm a little bit worried something's cracked. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Well, it's nighttime. Finally a little bit cooler in here. And just got everything cleaned out. But here's a quick view of my work. So I put the receptacle back with a new one. The other one was quite crusty. And this was an existing piece of Romex that was originally plugged into the extension cord that was right there. But wired it into this light and secured it and moved it all along. And it pops out right there, which is where our outdoor receptacle is. What are we doing this morning? Alex, what are we doing this morning? We had a, a, a brain wave. You did. And why not take the sinks off of the countertop before we move it? Because it'll get rid of the bulk 
because this is the highest point mm -hmm. and weight. We're taking off the brackets, which came off um, shockingly easy, even though they all had construction glue or something adhering it to the sides. Now we got to cut around, avoid the noodles, cut around all the caulking and scrape that out so we can lift up these sinks and then we'll reassemble upstairs. I'm finally gonna plant today. So this is the fruit orchard before and after. We have the pomegranate right there. Guava moved from there. The papaya is not yet in the ground, but we'll go somewhere around here. The apricot. The mystery citrus, which is now moved up in its same spot. That was a lot to dig out. The peach, which will eventually go there once it is done with its fruiting season. It's got a lot of nice peaches growing in there. And then the lemon tree, which will figure out how to raise up the dirt or whatever in there eventually. And then all of this still. Woo! Also finished off the new valves. This one was funky because it had to be cut and redone, but it's okay. I think it'll still fit under the rock. These are gone. Goodbye. Now we can turn it on and test her. Right in the butterfly garden. And a broken sprinkler right there. This one turns on water. Over here in the dirt, we have the fountain of youth in our backyard. And there's also one there. One over there, and then one coming up back here. Woo, that's fun. Also, this one is flowing out the top and I don't know why. Let's see where it goes. It's the sprinklers in the garden. So that's the first one that I'm gonna turn to drip emitters because they're crazy overpowered and just spraying all the foliage inefficiently. <laughs> Woo, we have a water feature in our papers. <laughs> Tell us how you feel about that. Yeah. So you bring the guests over and we're like, oh, we want a little bit of ambiance. <laughs> this is what we turn on. Well, I'm embarrassed to say it's taken this long, but look, we have one less sink and less weight. I guess it was good news and bad news that the sinks were secured properly. And because they were secured properly, they were a pain to get out, especially doing it delicately in such a way that I don't damage it. So I had to do a lot of cutting. I've pretty much ruined every single razor blade in this entire house. Even ended up going to Harbor Freight and getting this oscillating scraper tool, which really helped, although it was still hard to get in some of these tight areas like right here and on the back there, but it's finally done, it's out. I just finished cleaning this all up and now I got some vacuuming to do. Whew, we did it. We finally got this big hunk of granite up here. That was the hard part. We still have to put this on the cabinet, of course, but in order to do that, we need to put the sink back. So that's what we're doing right now. I already have the silicone around this, we'll let that cure, and then we'll go over it again on the outside, take off these brackets, kind of like this one that we didn't touch, let that set, and then do the brackets with some more construction adhesive and let that fully cure before we can put this thing on the counter and be done with the vanity finally. All right, so we removed the vinyl film that was really ugly from the two windows in the living room but at night, if you're walking by from the sidewalk, uh, this is what you get to see. <laughs> oh dear. This has got to go. We're covering this up with some frosted film. There's also this fun one that goes straight to the staircase upstairs. Yay! Actually, no yay, you're bad. Okay, that's going bye-bye. Say bye, Alex. Mr. Alex is meticulously applying new film. Very meticulously. Yeah. It's not as easy as it looks. Have a good supervisor. Huh. Keeping an eye on daddy.